Neutron imaging methods are non-destructive testing methods which work along the same basic principles as standard X-ray imaging methods. In the standard approach, a sample, like in this case this plant, is positioned in front of a detector. A part of the radiation is attenuated by the sample and then registered by the detector behind it. The way neutrons and X-ray photons interact with matter is very different. While X-ray photons interact with the electrons in the atomic shell, neutrons interact with the nuclei of the atoms within the sample. This is why neutron images yield different and partially complementary information when compared to X-ray images. Some heavy elements, such as metals, for example lead, are very easily penetrated by neutrons, while some light elements, such as hydrogen, lithium or boron, attenuate the neutrons considerably. This behavior makes neutron imaging particularly useful for investigations where small content changes of water have to be localized and quantified but it also proves very useful for studying small organic structures, like in this case, the root system of this plant. This can, for example, be used to study the growth of root systems in different types of soils, or to investigate how the root system of plants copes with different grades of pollution. In long time series, with repeated measurements over a couple of weeks, the root system can be observed without disturbing it. To study the three-dimensional structure of a root system, a tomography is necessary. For this, we acquire a multitude of projections with different viewing angles, which we fed afterwards to a computer. In the computer, the tomography is reconstructed, resulting in a 3D volume dataset, which can then be analyzed. Also, time-dependent processes can be investigated using computer tomography, making 4D evaluation possible, like in the example of this lupine root system. In these reconstructed tomography slices, we see the water uptake by the root system over time, in this case, over a range of almost two hours. Another more advanced approach is bimodal imaging. Here we take advantage of the complementarity of X-ray and neutron data. By combining X-ray and neutron data acquired simultaneously from an identical sample, we can create synergetic effects. These allow us to segment the different components of the samples more accurately. Besides the shown examples, a multitude of other techniques exists which can be counted as neutron imaging methods. These comprise, for example, more advanced methods such as neutron grating interferometry or diffractive imaging. All of these methods can of course not only be used to study plants and soils. Neutron imaging methods can be used to investigate a broad spectrum of scientific questions from fundamental to applied research. The areas of application cover life science as well as geology, material science questions, magnetism, soft matter, energy materials and devices, natural and cultural heritage, but also industrial applications. This was a very short introduction to neutron imaging. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.